So here at Supercomputing 23, one of the key highlights is optical connectivity. If we want supercomputing in the future to be large scale, we need optical to compute because of just how many systems are built together and just in the data center, we need the bandwidth. One of the key companies doing that right now is called IR Labs. They're working on an in-silicon photonic solution that can be integrated as a chiplet into whatever SOC needs to use it. So at IR Labs, we're at the forefront of developing optical interconnect technology. That's built on our Terrify optical chiplet and a supernova light source. They've got a few of their designs here. Dom, if you'd like to come in. So this is their generational sort of waveguide. And you can see they're building the laser and the, the data. Uh, sorry, they're just building the data uh, and the path light into the silicon itself. Now, the interesting thing is, and I'm not sure if we're able to see it, but here are some of the big cards if you'd like to have a look. What we've got here is we've got the Intel Adulex 7 uh, FPGA combined with two of their optical I.O. chiplets. Now these guys can do four terabits per second per card, and they've got a demo in the back, I'll see if we can get to see it, of doing four terabits per second per card. We're talking about 40,000 terabits transferred since this morning. Hopefully we'll get a chance to look at that. They did technically have this demo on hot chips, and it was funny because the sunlight on it was uh, playing a little bit with the waveguide. This is obviously built for the data center, so that wouldn't happen. Um, but they have a roadmap in order to build on this technology. Let's see if we can go into the back room and have a look. So this is part of the back room, and what they've got here is essentially um, an evaluation kit. This is using some of their silicon to provide to partners, see if it's of any use for them in their big scale SOC. Um, they're looking at next gener their next generation silicon, so they already have one silicon package, and Dom, if you'd like to come in, it's actually this top one here. That's what they're currently, uh, that's currently productized today. Um, and the one underneath is just what it looks like. And the idea is that they shrink this down into a smaller size, sort of like M.2 width. Uh, so in order you can scale out what your bandwidth needs. Now let's see if we can get access to this demo. So here we have the demo. You've got two cards. And what this demo is showing is just the cards talking to each other. So we're talking about raw bandwidth. Nothing to do with compute yet. This is just bandwidth because this AR Labs is a company focusing on bandwidth. Uh, you got your, again, your Intel Agilex 7 FPGA is talking to each other. And what we have here at 4 terabit per second, data transferred today, 85,000 terabit per second. It's because uh, it's later in the day, so six hours. Up here at the top, you've got your bit error rate. So an important bit in communications is how many bits you have to resend. And they, they are hitting a very, very, very low number, right, on the bit error rate, which is very good. And then here we have on the right, we have the demo, four terabit per second. So you've got your IR Labs light source, your Intel FPGA, and same thing on the other side. And a more visual demonstration here is up here the optical I.O. chiplets, the FPGA and, and some other attachment. And then you here you've got the supernova light source. So this is also a feature of IR Labs. And like I say, optical compute, well, no, this is an optical compute. This is optical connectivity, uh, not only between cards, but you know, within the rack or within a data center. If you want that amazing all-to-all -all environment that the future is going to need, four terabits per second, you know, it's, it's, it's an amazing number. and. Uh, I've been working with these guys a little bit, and uh, the roadmap sounds pretty impressive. Uh, hopefully we get to share that with you guys sometime soon.